So, so I think it's it's good, as I said, to think of marketing as sort of an extension of what I call discovery. Um, and and I think uh, as soon as you reveal the game, you should think a bit about marketing it all the time. But I actually, my personal view is that you should really only reveal your game when you have something that um, kind of looks a little bit competitive. So, you know, I know a lot of people will be like, like, like tweeting or updating their blog all the way from like, here's the first stuff I put in the engine. Um, and I think that's, that's like, okay. But I, I almost think it's better to start start out like wait maybe three to six months, uh, and then actually start talking about it more publicly when when you've actually got a trailer together and you can sort of um, yeah like a, a, attract people in with a good description of what the game is and what its unique selling points are. Because I think it's I think it's okay to say look my game exists and that's what you're sort of doing if you're doing really early development. But I think it's better to say like. Yeah, here's something that you might consider buying based on even this this trailer, and you might like it because these reasons. So I, I think I think it's better to wait a little bit and then do that. But equally, uh, when I say wait a little bit, I, I still want everyone to announce their game like 12 months before it comes out. So <laughs> I guess it's difficult because it's like well, you want to wait, but then you don't want to wait till two months before it comes out because you'll 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 lose a lot lose a lot of the momentum that that that, that you're really getting from announcing a long time before it's released. So <laughs> yeah, I think for the first tree, it was like a tortoise in the hare kind of situation. <laughs> Because um, I, I did what you said. I did six months just making the game. Like not a soul knew about it at that at that point. And then I spent twelve months, just two hours a week, really marketing, and that involved making gifts and posting them. And I did that for a year. Like it was twelve months, but it was only like an hour or two a week. And I think that that added up. There was a lot of failed gifts, um, a lot of failed posts everywhere, but. The ones that did stick, it did get me enough wish lists eventually to get on the, the front page of Steam on launch, which was, that was the goal. And it made the biggest difference in the world. But yeah, you, you have to market now. You absolutely have to. It's just too competitive. You'll get buried on Steam too fast, I think. Yeah, and I think a good thing to think about is always like, uh, w what I'm putting out, like, why would people care about it? Like, are, are you are you announcing this stuff just so you can keep yourself going on development? Or are you really announcing it from the point of view of someone who hasn't seen my game before might look at this and say, hey, that looks kind of cool. So I, I think that's sort of the minimum bar. And as soon as you reach that minimum bar, you should be doing something every week until launch. I, I completely